So this is how the Apex Tank 4 is shipped in a nice box. It's got protection on the top and bottom and bubble wrap to protect the tank. And the tank is in a separate box that's nice. And then included is an Apex Water catalog. It shows all the different products. And an instruction sheet with included Teflon tape to wrap the connection. So I opened up out of the box. Here's the tank itself. It has the Schrader valve right here with the screw on cover. There's the tank information on there. And there's the top where we're gonna put the included Teflon tape and the water valve connection on top. I'm also making sure that my ice maker is shut off. If you have a valve, Make sure you shut that off to the ice maker. So the uh, tank comes with an instruction sheet and it says turn off the water feed supply as the first thing to do then drain the old tank completely through the spigot. So there's the old tank that we're going to be removing and first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off that turn off that water supply. I'm going to open up my water connection to drain the excess water in the tank. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the old tank. I'm going to remove the quick connect. The cable out. And get some extra water there. And the water alarm goes off, which is a good thing. So I'm going to shut that valve off. So here I removed the old tank and I'm going to attempt to reuse the ball valve on here by carefully unscrewing it. So I have a leach and water and distilled water sprayer. The old ball, ball valve and put a little bleach in there in the water. And I'm going to do the same to the connection that goes right here. Make sure you rinse. Let it sit there for a little while. Turn it off and on. And then rinse it thoroughly with the distilled water. This discases any bacteria in that area from water sitting before we put it. Now here's the new Apex water tank 4 and the included thin Teflon tape. I'm going to start right here. And we're going to go in a clockwise direction. Bring a little bit of tension as I turn. All you need is about three or four turns on there. That should be adequate. And you break it off. Smooth it out a little bit so that it's all contiguous. Then we're going to take the valve that took off the old one. I'm going to go in a clockwise direction. Try to keep it as parallel as I can. You don't want to strip that. And you want to hand tighten it. And got to be lined up pretty much with the valve because I'm putting it on the side. And I have this tip all cleaned and I have the new tank put in place. And I'll do the quick connect there by pushing it in. You can see the pull secure and I'm going to have the make sure the valve is on and the parallel to the cable is the on position and we're not going to mess with the Schrader valve because it's already pressurized to so probably 7 psi. We're going to put these straps back on and I'm going to turn the water supply back on. So after you've installed your tank, you want to flush out the first tank's worth, which is about four gallons. 
So we're going to do that. And you want to have it in a calibrated measuring cup of some kind. And that way you can measure how much you're eliminating to make sure that the, to make sure that it's ready to use after one flush of the tank. So everything's all tested. It's not leaking. And the uh, tank 4 is working and it's collecting filtered water right now. So what's my overall impressions about the RO pressure tank, the 4, the, the 4 series from Apex Water called Tank 4. I think this is a great product. The product came nicely shipped, protected, clean, working with the appropriate uh, Teflon tape to use and the instructions were written very nicely. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.